replacement is promise. Have you ever heard of Dabblers Anonymous? You know what to do. Find them. Hmm. I think something could be arranged. So funny. What the fuck, John? How's your real estate business? A good, uh, um, uh, back to the point of hand. You got nothing coming to you. I'm in first place in my league. You know, it's a hundred dollar buy and like, eight, eight. business bleeds into any shit. Feelings make things financially unfeasible. You're exactly right. That does happen. What are you gonna do? I mean, you obviously know. Hey, I'm having a fucking time. Stay out late. Come home drunk. Fuck anyone I want. If that's all you're out for, uh, you know, like, so you're not really looking for love. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll get appreciated more. Things have changed around here. I'm the boss of this fucking family. There is no way in hell. Look, you're a good actor. You're a good guy. Well, maybe, well, well yeah. You're a good uh, um, uh, director or producer. That's what I hear. Yeah, I know. But I'm talking to you here on a human level. All right. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Don't you know your hair? I thought we agreed that you were gonna talk to me first if you were gonna do something to your head. It's short. I think he was on ecstasy or something, I don't know. Anyway, so where were we? What are you fucking kidding me? Sorry. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe it's this, maybe it's that, maybe it's a fungu. It was only me and him doing coke because I'm a hard dog. What about impulse control? Why? Well, you were dropping acid and blowing roadies. Yeah. I've been sitting in this chair for four fucking years and still nothing's been done about that. I once waited 11 hours to interview Chevy Chase. Free to sit back for 20 fucking years and fiddle with the air conditioning and fucking bitch and complain and fucking bitch, bitch, bitch. See, this is what I don't get, so... Yeah. You know what? I'm not fun, I don't know why I bought it. God bless. And now I'll tell you some inside thing. And, you know, I hate to be a little crass, if you will. You got a t something off in your brain. Those guys killed me. And don't tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I mean, I don't get it. I don't want to hear it again. I need this subject. It makes no sense. I'm gonna tell you this once. It's over. You drop it. I love doing stand-up comedy. Uh, if 
fuck the dream. It's just a dream. I knew how great that would be. I, yeah, I I talked to everybody, and and I do my act. Nobody wants to hear you talk. They're trying to eat out there, and you come along with your corny jokes and your stupid stories. You shouldn't have been drinking in the afternoon. Measurable prick. Yeah. I've said it since day one. Yeah. So you any doubts or reservations? Now is the time to say so. No one will think any less of you. Because once you enter this family, there's no getting out. All right, my beer's almost done. It's been a lot of fun. It's a dreary day in LA. This family comes before everything else. Everything. Before your wife, and your children, and your mother. It's a thing of honor. And God forbid, if you get sick or something happens, we'll take care of you, because that's part of it. If you've got a problem, you just gotta let somebody know. This man right here. It doesn't matter if it's with somebody here or on the outside. You bring it to him, he'll solve it. You stay within the family. He does not return text. All right, so repeat after me. Okay. May I burn in hell? May I burn in hell? I betrayed my friends. <laughs> that seems appropriate.